Hi, Room 27 kids. Happy Mother's Day, moms. Thank you for all you do. I always say moms are our first teachers, and I hope you really feel appreciated right now. Make a difference. Tomorrow's our last half day of school. I'll send you some information from Miss Ryder if you want to do some spring sports day stuff with your family tomorrow. That is awesome. I really appreciate everybody staying positive and thinking about everything that we've learned and, and all the great experiences that we've had together. Um, whether it's going out, you know, to plays and visiting with soldiers from Fort Campbell or having awesome visitors come to see us. We've had some really incredible experiences. So keep those in your memories. Um, do look forward to a notice in another week about a pickup of materials from desks, including workbooks and notebooks and uh, crayons and the letters that we use. And I have a letter for everybody with some highlights of some awesome pictures from our year. You rock. Let's have a little story. Sorry about that, Bob. Yay, you. Moving out, moving up, moving on to second grade by Sandra Blinken. Yay, you. You did it. You're done. You made it. You threw. Oh, what a great moment. Now what will you do? There are so many choices. The world is immense. Take a good look around and decide what makes sense. Some like to go fast. Some like to go slow. Some like to get going however they go. Some strive to be peaceful and joyful and wise. Some choose to just ponder the size of their thighs. So look north, look south, look ahead, look behind. Stare into the mirror. What do you find? Should you live where it's cold? Should you live where it's hot? Do you want to be terribly busy or not? Do you need lots of friends or only a few? Would you like to have friends with a new point of view? Is your mind moved by science or does art move your soul? Do you listen to rivers or to great rock and roll? Or both? Do you long for adventure? Do you love to read maps? Would you rather stay home with your chocolate, perhaps? You already have wit. You already have style. You have very kind eyes and a dazzling smile. But now, but now, but now, but now. Hey, what's the hurry anyhow? There are places to go and projects to do and people to talk with and lunches to chew. But stopping a while is okay too. And whatever you do, now or later, big or small, loud or quiet, whatever you do, don't worry, just try it. Whatever you do, whether near or so far, I know you'll be great. You already are. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Okay. Can't wait to see you. You know where I'll be. Remember how all those other kids used to come by in the morning to wash their hands and give me a hug and you would be like, jeez, Miss Witherow, why are all those kids coming back? Hey, you get to be one of those kids next year. So come back and see me. I can't wait. I love you. Have a great summer.